Hello, and welcome to the August 2022 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. The Perseid meteor shower peaks on the night of the 12th to the morning of the 13th. Under clear dark skies, about 80 meteors per hour are expected. Unfortunately, the light of the nearly full moon will reduce the number of visible meteors this year. Despite that, the Perseids can produce bright meteors, so it's still worth going out and taking a look. In the evening sky, two constellations are prominent to the south. Scorpius the Scorpion is visible just west of south. Its brightest star is Antares, a red supergiant 550 light years away from Earth. Due south is Sagittarius the Archer. Its brightest stars form the shape of a teapot. Scorpius and Sagittarius are hard to see from Los Angeles or any city under light pollution. This image was taken 75 miles away from Los Angeles. From suburban locations, both constellations can be distinguished easily. From a dark sky, the brightest portion of the Milky Way separates the two constellations. In this region of the sky, there are many star clusters and nebulae, two of which are just visible to the unaided eye. These objects are known as Messier 7 and Messier 8, or M7 and M8. M7 is one of the most prominent open star clusters in the sky. The cluster is dominated by bright blue stars and can be seen with the unaided eye in a dark sky in a tail of the constellation Scorpius the Scorpion. M7 contains about 100 stars in total and is about 200 million years old and spans 25 light years across and lies about 1000 light years away. M8 is also known as the Lagoon Nebula. It's a large bright emission nebula located in the constellation Sagittarius. The star forming nebula is visible easily in binoculars and lies at a distance of 4100 light years from Earth. Above Sagittarius and Scorpius is the constellation Aquila the Eagle. As we gaze overhead, Aquila the Eagle is accompanied by two other constellations, Cygnus the Swan and Lyra the Harp. The brightest star in each constellation, Vega, Deneb and Outer, form the Summer Triangle. All three stars are bluish white as imaged through a telescope. Vega is 25 light years away from the Earth and is the fifth brightest star in the night sky. Deneb is 1400 light years away. It's the 19th brightest star in the night sky, but it's a blue-white supergiant, 203 times the diameter of the Sun. Outer is 16 light years away and is twice the diameter of the Sun. It has a rapid rotation, 9 hours compared to the Sun's 25 days. Outer is not spherical, but is flattened at the poles due to its high rotation rate. To the southeast is Capricornus the Sea Goat. It's comprised of faint stars except for one bright point of light, the planet Saturn, visible throughout the evening. In the morning sky, four planets are visible just before dawn. Low to the east is the brilliant planet Venus. By month's end, Venus will move back into the bright glare of the sun. Red planet Mars is high above the southeast and bright planet Jupiter is to the south. On the 15th, the waning gibbous moon is about one and a half degrees below Jupiter. While Saturn, which has been an evening planet, has drifted overnight and is low in the southwest in the morning sky. On the 19th, the moon is about 2 degrees above Mars. Taking a closer look, the near last quarter moon is located between Mars and the Pleiades star cluster in the constellation Taurus the Bull. In the morning sky, not only are the four planets visible, the winter constellations Orion, Taurus and Gemini emerge from the light of dawn in the southeast. Also just emerging from the light of dawn, look for Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky just below Orion and about 8 degrees above the southeast horizon. Our moon phases for this month. First quarter is the 5th, full moon is on the 11th, last quarter is the 18th, and new moon is on the 27th. And that's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio!